Okay guys, I'm going to show you how I make my cannabis and other ingredients pain oil or pain salve because once it becomes an oil, then I can make salves with it. So this is my pain oil. Here's my decarboxylated cannabis that's going in. I'm doing this in my Infusium 420 machine. Now I'm going to take dandelion roots for inflammation, handful, handful of dandelion roots, handful of St. John's Wart's roots, and the flower, a handful of goldenrod, there are some roots in there too. Now for the oil, I'm not just going to put all over any other type of oil. What I'm using is I took my herbs, roots, um, and mushrooms this year and I sat them out for the summer in the sunlight. So this was dandelions I sat in the summer, all summer long, in the sunlight. So that is so gorgeous, that oil now. And it, the base oil that I started with was olive oil. So that's olive oil in there all summer long being sun infused. Same with the rose hips. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to put all those dandelions in there because it will just be hard to strain. So I'm just going to grab a strainer. I mean, I could put the dandelions in, but I don't want to. I'm going to put the rose hips in. So this was rose hips. It sat in the sunlight all summer long and this was actually in um, grape seed oil so I'm gonna put that whole thing in I'm not gonna strain them that oil is going in so my cannabis and all my roots and inflammation things were in there I'm debating whether to use it yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna put the dandelions and everything right in because I'm gonna strain all this at the end anyhow Wow it's gonna be a powerful salve <laughs> when I make salves from it or a powerful oil a massage oil. So that's a little bit too much in my machine, I think. Let me see, where's my level? It'll be all right. I might take out a few of the dandelions because my level is about up to here and I only want to go to there. Uh, let me just see. Actually, it's okay. It's okay. So what I'm gonna do now is select my temperature, I'm going to go 160 for one hour, start. Bam, that's it guys. That is going to make the most powerful oil for inflammation. You can either take it by mouth, you can make massage oils with it to massage into the problem area. I'll add some things after, say for instance when I'm making my salve, I will, um, I'll add like cayenne pepper, hot paprika, chili powder. All those things are for inflammation too. Maybe even some ginger. Um, and then you have a powerful oil. So you don't have to just stick with, you know, one thing to make an oil. Play around with it. Like, that goes. sounds like it's really doing well so I'm gonna just take a peek at it oh my goodness that looks so good it's really green <laughs> and I just started this is gonna be such a powerful oil so I'll set that again select my time 160 for one hour and start so that's it guys have fun making oils um, just play around with it and I'll strain that and then it'll be golden